hello guys today we are going to discuss this problem number of steps to reduce uh, number in binary representation to one this is a lead code problem so um, as you can see here the problem is described here uh, number is given this is problem number uh, 1404 uh, number is given in uh, binary representation in input as a string this is something as 1101 now uh, we need to reduce this number to 1 uh, given the conditions that if we find uh, a number the, 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 the reduction steps are here uh, it's pretty simple I think you must have read it and given a number uh, given a number s in its binary representation return a number to reduce 1 under the following rules if current number is even you have to divide it by 2 if current number is odd then you have to add 1 to it so it's something like uh, if we see here <coughs> I'll just uh, open a notepad here uh, just give me a second so uh, it's something as if number is 1101 um, this number is equivalent to 2 raised to power 3 uh, which is 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 which is it is equivalent to 13 so what we have to do is we have to divide uh, since this number is odd we have to add 1 which comes 14 uh, then we have to make uh, divide by 2 which comes 7 then 7 is odd we have to add 1 it comes 8 then we have to divide 8 by 2 uh, it comes 4 then we have to divide 4 by 2 it comes 2 then we have to divide 2 by 2 and it comes 1 so here number of steps are 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it, if uh, the number uh, the uh, after the number is 1 then we have to re return the number immediately so there are two methods to it actually first method is first convert this uh, binary number into a decimal number something as 14 but again uh, as we can see the input constraints it is it can have length of 500 so we have to take a number um, uh, in a decimal form uh, which can be big enough i think somewhere if we have uh, 2 raised to power 500 we don't have that number in c we can take a number from up to uh, 2 raised to power 128 uh, even uh, 2 raised to power 64 bits are there so an alternate way is let's take it as a string and then try to do the calculations on it so this is the code so here uh, our goal is to reduce the number to one and uh, we have to perform operations on last bit why last bit because let's suppose uh, uh, the last bit is zero uh, let's uh, look at this example so if last bit is zero uh, it means that number is even uh, and if we divide a uh, even number by 2 that is 8 by 2 we get a number whose last bit is removed that is if number is 1000 0, 0, which is representation of 8 and we divide it by 2 then we just what we have to do is we have to remove the last bit uh, last 0 of the original number let's look at another example triple one zero this is a binary representation of 14 if we divide it by 2 then we just have to remove the last zero out of it so in step 1 where we find uh, where we find last bit of a number as 0 we have to just remove the last bit of a number and resize the number that's all now the second point is in case of odd number in case of odd number we have to add 1 so now the thing here is that when we add 1 to a number then if all the digits uh, all the bits of a number are 1 then it a number of bits will be increased while if the number is something like this that is 1101 1, 1. so there can only be two conditions that last bit can be 0 or it can be 1 if last bit is 0 then it means it's a even number we have to just chop off or remove the last bit and if last bit is 1 that means it's a odd number in case of odd number we have to search the 0 uh, bit 0 nearest from end for example if we add 1 to this number 1101 what we do is um, we uh, this 1 plus 1 becomes 10 
so i'll i'll just explain it the example here so let's take the number as 1101 uh, this one triple uh, one zero so in this case the step one is uh, since the the last element or i'll say the last bit is last bit is zero so in this case uh, since last bit is zero this is a even number we just remove the last bit resulting number is zero in step two uh, this number is an input that is one 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 so now when we have when we add one to the last bit here this is the operation one plus one is one zero where zero is the original number and one is a carry so now zero comes in place of this last bit and we have to add one to the second last bit this one here so now again in this case uh, it will have one carry and zero comes in its original place so this here and again um, now again we have to add one to the first bit of the number so if we add one one so it will ha again have one and zero that is one is carry and zero at its own place now in step three since this becomes a even number we just remove the last zero then in step four since this again becomes a even number we remove last zero and step five uh, we when we remove zero we get the answer so this is a basic very basic algorithm here and uh, how this code works i have just written out here if we have a even number we have to just remove last if we have a odd number we have to start counting from end step one is we have to make last bit as zero then what we have to do is we have to search zero from uh, before last bit that is uh, uh, we have to search zero from uh, the position which is nearest to the last bit if we found zero in step two what we have to do is we have to change zero to one so for example i'll just tell you uh, let's take this example one one zero one so in this case what we have to do is we have to uh, when we have this odd number what the first first step is we have to replace this uh, last zero by one in second step we will start looking for a number from this last bit and what we have to look is we have to look zero so let's take uh, uh, let's take some bigger number here let's take this number so in this case what we have to do is we have to just reduce it to zero and then what we have to do we have to start looking for zero from here one two three four five six so at sixth position we found zero when we found uh, zero at sixth position what we have, what we will do is we will just replace this sixth position by one and all rest we will replace by zero so this is a very simple logic and if we have a number something as this which doesn't have a zero so what we have to do is we have to just replace this with zero we have to we have to just uh, count uh, that we have to just look that we have a zero we go from here to here to first bit and we cannot find any zero here so what we will do is we will just uh, prepend one in front of a number and we will just replace all the digits all the bits by zero so remember because we are replacing this with one and all the digits will be replaced by zero so in this case the number number of bits uh, in this number will be increased so this is the logic here so we have to uh, sit in a while loop until we have one in it so this is the even case that if size uh, of the input string minus one that is if size is three and the last bit is zero then what we have to do is we have to just erase the last bit and we have to increase the number of steps while if last bit is one that is if so there are only two cases number can be even or odd so if it is not even it is odd so in that case what we have to do is we have to just make the last bit as zero and then we have to start counting so here in this loop uh, what i'm doing is i'm just looking for zero uh, from the last so i have just started from the last i'm going till the first that is i greater than zero and if i found a number a, a bit zero then i'll break so now if i find uh, let's suppose i found a number uh, the our our case was 
uh, let's suppose I found it here something here right so now in this case what I'll do is I'll just make zero position as one here and after that I'll make all zeros so see here what we are doing is from i equal to i plus one till end we are making zeros but if we are not able to find any zero in it the second case what we are doing is we are just inserting one at the index zero of the string and from index one till end we are just uh, making the string as zero so this operation is here and we are uh, so for this all operation we are just taking step as one because uh, we will be uh, we will not make the steps uh, inside this for loop because this all operation should be uh, calculated in a one step so let me just run this code so initially okay i'll just uh, i'll just run this one which is the example provided by uh, the code so number of uh, steps is six i have just used a chrono library here um, to find the time which this algorithm takes so we can actually ignore it you can just ignore it um, or maybe you can comment means I'll, i i i just use it for uh, measuring that my time only then uh, uh, we can take a bigger uh, input here so in this uh, it's taken 246 steps then let me take an input which is provided by the example that is 10 in this case step 1 <coughs> and the third one which is um, 1 so in this case it'll just return 0 and it runs 0 so it's a very simple logic um, I have just provided the code here in the uh, discussion section you can just look at the code I've I'll just provide the logic above it uh, what are these steps I have just written step 1 step 2 and all and thanks for watching have a good day bye